Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to take a look at uh, printing this and using this. What is this, you might be asking? Well, as I covered out in the Fabricator, some of the Fabricator mini uh, episodes, those plastic blocks or those laser cut blocks are absolutely worthless that, that come with it. So, uh, what I decided to do is uh, print this off Thingiverse. So, this is a stand for it. I've uh, printed it in PETG, so it kind of ca carries with the clear motif of the uh, uh, Fabricator Mini's clear case. And uh, so, anyways, let's take a quick watch of the video of it being printed. The time lapse, it took, I think, pretty close to about four hours uh, to print. Um, came out semi okay. One of the things with this PETG, I'm going to have to ex experiment uh, with the slicer. Some of the surfaces, the the, ver the horizontal surfaces, I'm sorry, uh, like this, uh, you know, really hasn't come out that good. And I, I've increased the the surface thickness too, thinking that with some of the bridging, and it, well, it is some of the bridging or what have you, but I'm not sure why. <clears throat> so if you have experience with PETG and in in you know, potentially cure a slicer settings. Hey, please let me know down below what you're using to kind of get a better uh, horizontal surface. The vertical surfaces are just beautiful. Uh, no complaints at all about the vertical surfaces and, and all that. And I love the way the PETG prints. Um, so, anyways, if, if you have experience down there. If not, let's go to time lapse and then we'll see you back on the other side where we're going to install this on the Fabricator Mini. And we're going to see how it looks and works. Now for a time lapse video. Ready, set, let's go. Welcome back. So we've now got uh, the base put on the Fabricator Mini right here. So uh, that came out really nice. Uh, it, it fits really well. Uh, gets rid of these stupid blocks that fall out so you can move the printer. Uh, again, I've printed this in, in a clear PET G, so it's sort of kept with the motif, uh, the clear motif of the Fabricator Mini, which I really like. Uh, I think I am going to go ahead and print a spool holder. I may, may actually even laser cut something um, out of clear plexiglass to match. I kind of really like this kind of theme going on. So uh, it, it's pretty cool. But this is what I've been running so far on it. And I've got the the halogen lights here. If I back off, you can see where I was doing some time lapses. Because um, I'll probably throw some time lapse up on there just for a, a grins and giggles of it. Um, one of the things that's kind of cute, let's see if I can get it in frame, if I back up far enough, is uh, so I've got uh, a 50 inch monitor for a 4 inch printer. So <laughs> it's actually kind of interesting. So on the monitor up there, you see some gears or, or actually bed leveling knobs that I'm printing or have printed a prototype of for the Wanho. And there it is in, inside the printer. It's printed. And that's one of the things I really like about this, uh, because I, I, I'm, I'm probably going to do some changes to the part. And so I want to print one out so I have a physical one so I can measure it and see and, 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 and you know, get perspective to make my changes. Get it down, camera down here. Um, so that's what I really, really kind of want this printer for, too, is to print these out. And then, you know, I have three larger uh printers and so I can you know once I have the part the way I want it I can send it off to those also um, you know those I've, I've got uh, a rather large workshop area that's adjacent to my office here however you know this is small enough and, and unintrusive enough that it can just live in my office and, and take up a corner on the desk and the nice part is again once I put the uh, uh, SD card and, and, and LCD reader on here 
it, it'll be a, a self-contained unit, so I can just sit it on, on one corner of my desk and, and life is good. Um, so anyway, so far I've been very happy. Now, knock the corners off here. Um, I, I don't know if it has to do with the way that the version 1.5 is. However, if I get down in here, uh, you can kind of see it. it, it the, the plexiglass fills the entire corner, so I just took a utility knife. And, and lop those off, N no big problem there. They came off nice, and, and all in all, like I say, very happy with this. So, uh, anyways, if you've been following along on the on the Fabricator Mini, you're thinking about getting one for yourself. Um, again, I mean, it, it, it's a great printer. It's a great second printer. Let me put it that way. Or it's a great printer if you don't have a lot of space. Um, you, you know, to to have one. Uh, again, part of my ideas is. is uh, you know, maybe show and tell with my grandson at school. Uh, he takes a lot of the 3D printed stuff to school, and, you know, naturally people are a bit amazed. And, and so uh, it'd be kind of neat for Grandpa to bring this in and do a show and tell with it sometime. So anyways, hey, give this a thumbs up if you liked it. Even if you didn't, give it a thumbs up. Hey, why not give it a thumbs up? There's no reason not to. And, hey, I'll definitely appreciate you, and I'll remember you and everything else. But anyways, uh, see you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.